Should you make an audiobook version of your book? I say absolutely yes. Why? Well, more people than ever are listening to their books. Think about it. People are super busy, right? You got long commutes on your way to work, whether it's on the subway or in your car. When you're doing chores, etc., people have time to be able to listen to books with their hands free, right? So, if you've done all that work to write your book, to publish your book, and then to promote your book, you get people to show up on your Amazon webpage, you want to make sure it's available in all the formats they like to listen to. Print, ebook, and audiobook. The good news is it's easier than ever to publish your own audiobook, okay? You can either hire a narrator through a site like ACX, or you can narrate it yourself by building your own home studio, following some very simple steps, and you can publish it. Now, we've got a whole course on this, how to publish an audiobook, which you can totally do, but I also want to go through a few of the steps right now, just a few quick steps. So, a few things you want to do if you want to, if you want to uh, publish your own audiobook. The first thing you need to do is whether you decide whether or not you're going to uh, be the narrator yourself or not. Now, I always think that if you can, uh, you should try and narrate it yourself, right? It's, an, it's a nice value add. The people who are going to want to listen to your book will want to listen to you. Speak, speak the words in your own words. Now, if you're shy about that or you don't think you can, you can pull it off, you can also hire someone. And the good news is it's pretty easy to hire people. You can go to a site like ACX, which is also the publishing platform for audiobooks, and you can hire someone right there. You can, put out, you can ask for auditions, you can review samples, right? And then you can choose someone. They'll take care of everything. Or you can build your own home studio. So that's another one. Uh, we've got some resources on our website where you can learn what are some good ho home studio um, technology to have. But the good news is you can make it easy. You can easily create a little soundproof environment. You can record it in your closet or buy some foam or even use moving pads to create a soundproof barrier. Uh, you can invest in a, in, a, in a good USB mic for $100 to $200, very little. Um, and you can record high quality audio, right? And the other thing, if you're going to be recording an audiobook yourself, if, if you decided to go ahead and record the files yourself, hire a professional uh, audio editor who knows how to take those files and, and convert them into the format that is going to be required for ACX. Right? That's another simple thing you can do. And then the last thing I recommend that you do is practice and take notes. Right? So when you're recording your audiobook, you're reading through the pages, there is a tremendous amount of intellectual power in the corporate world today, dot, dot, dot. Right? You're reading through, but then let's say you cough right? <clears throat> or your kid cries in the background, or a really loud car goes by and goes, rrr, rrr, right? You've got to edit that out. Take notes along the way and write down the timestamp. So let's say that was at 15 minutes and 28 seconds. Write that timestamp down. It'll really help you or your editor later when you're trying to go back through that. There's a lot more to publishing an audiobook. You can check out a blog post on the topic and you can also check out our course, um, but I hope that's been helpful for you. And I hope that you record an audiobook. Thanks for watching. If you want more tips and insights for publishing and promoting your book, subscribe to my YouTube channel here.